Jesus says, My artists and musicians, fear neither the world nor the contempt of relatives. August 2, 2022 Excerpt of Jesus' Message through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, Let's talk about musicians. They have my heart wrapped around their little finger. When they are so immersed in me that their whole heart yearns to express their love for me, I can do marvelous things through them. Musicians that play for themselves or the world, I cannot do much with, and their gift goes to waste or becomes their downfall. This is what happened to Lucifer, who was leading the celestial choirs in worship and song. How tragic was the day he gave birth to sin and fell. I grieved a great deal over him, but there was nothing I could do because he had free will. I knew what his end would be, and I was so grieved. I want to speak to those of you who have gifts in the arts. I know the persecution you go through. I know how the world treats you, as if you were worthless. And I want to tell you that this could not be further from the truth. Your potential is tremendous if you are willing to go through the contempt the world has for you. Does your gift mean enough to you that you are willing to go without the civilized trappings that come with success? Are you willing to pour your whole life into your gift and suffer want at times? Do I mean so much to you that you have forsaken the worldly agenda? I'm calling out my anointed ones, my artists and musicians who have the capability of turning men's hearts back to me. I need you in the fray. That is, I need you in the forefront of the battle to turn men's hearts away from their destructive lifestyle. I need your music, your writings, your acting, your paintings and films to make an impact on the cold hearts of this world. So many wander about in this world, not knowing where to go, what to do, how to cultivate their art and use it for me. They receive scorn and contempt from family members, and the world makes it very hard for them to survive. But I tell you, where there is a will, there is a way. Does your expression of love for me overpower your need for financial security and the approval from your families? In other words, are you willing to die for me? Willing to become a nobody for me? Willing to live on the edge for me? I will always provide for your needs, but I will not defend you in front of your relatives, because the shame they heap on you is your glory and contributes to the making of who you really are. When you use the gifts I've given you for my kingdom, I increase your gifts and anointing. The scorn and contempt will increase as well, but this, in fact, is your glory in heaven, that you spurned the world to live for souls, to dedicate your life in service to me, in whatever way I call you. As Paul confessed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake I've suffered the loss of all. That's Philippians 3.8 This is where you must be, my treasured ones, right here beside me, receiving scorn and contempt even as I did. This proves your authenticity. That is the pure love in your hearts that you refuse to share with the world. Truly, you have counted the loss and seen it as your treasured gain, even as the merchant that sold all he had to purchase one pearl of great price. Now I can use you 
to build my kingdom, to feed my lambs and my sheep. I'm calling out to you. Have no fear. Come to serve me and I will meet all your needs and grow you into a great nation dedicated to me and my glory for all of eternity. So have no fear to leave the world. You have chosen the better portion and you shall not be deprived of it. I will be your supply for every need and your joy will expand beyond what you thought was possible. I'm with you, I'm for you, and you are truly my delight.